Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Minimalism Monday. <music> the channel and you would like to catch week number one it will be listed below so last week just to recap a little bit I gave you guys a task to complete which was to declutter all of the surfaces in your in your home and hopefully you guys had a chance to finish that and feel great about that um, you know, if you didn't, just take this week to do that, to continue the task. I also talked a little bit in my last video about a life update and that we are re not redecorating, but really doing some construction work and reorganizing extensively in my apartment um, to, accommodate, to accommodate a large amount of boxes to do with a business that we're resuming in the future and unfortunately we didn't quite you know that's how construction work goes right <laughs> of course we didn't finish so we are finishing that this week and if you take a look behind me you can see that you know there's the wood and some of it's done and some of it isn't and you guys really can't tell what it is but I promise you it's gonna be amazing also my rug was delivered that side and if I was to show you the rest of the room, it's just basically tons of boxes. <laughs> so, so for this second video in our minimalism series, I wanted to talk to you guys about motivation to become a minimalist. This is really going to have an incredible positive outcome on your life because you're going to be gaining more time, you're going to be doing less housework, you're going to be gaining more money, and you're going to be living within a very peaceful, lovely environment. So, what I'd like you to do this week for your second task, of course, if you haven't finished the surfaces, do that. But what I'd like you guys to do is to seriously think about how you want your home to look. There are no rules when it comes to minimalism, not from my perspective, okay? Um, you're making an incredible positive change. So, in order to continue, we need to do task number two. And task number two is, I want you to go online or look through magazines or, or and to look at pictures of kitchens and bathrooms and living rooms and and bedrooms okay until something resonates with you something clicks where you say oh my god I want that I want to live like that okay and I promise you this does not have to do with money um, you know I mean you could have like a basic white dining room table that you made yourself that's gorgeous for less than a hundred dollars or you could go and purchase one probably for five thousand dollars or more okay so don't think about the money just concentrate on the style or concentrate on how you could repurpose what you have or maybe it's not about changing your furniture it's just once you get rid of all the clutter in your home you're gonna actually see the furniture that you have or the colors are gonna pop so in order to give you guys a head start, I went on online and I copied some pictures of some really pretty rooms that are minimalistic styling. And I thought we could take a look at them to get you guys in the mood. So let's take a look.
guys are now a little bit more motivated to get started. Once you can envision how gorgeous your home can look without the clutter when it's all tidy. And think when you look at these pictures how simple it is to clean those rooms without the clutter around, without the stuff on surfaces, right? Another thing that you guys might consider doing, which I did, and somewhere here I'll insert a picture of that, I made a vision board. basically for free. Um, I just had some styrofoam that came in in packing around Christmas time and I just cut pictures and words and out of magazines things that resonated with me, things that I want to hopefully manifest into my life and I made this vision board. And some of the things on there um, you know, have to do with a minimalist theme when it comes to decorating. So that's about it for this video. So guys, think upon, think about this as a positive, positive move in your life. So I want you guys to concentrate on having the right mindset as we move forward in our minimalistic journey. I want you guys to really think positively and not negatively. Don't think about this as work and decluttering and all this work. Think about it as something amazing because it is. And it's going to give you, basically going to give you, a lot of you guys, your life back. You're going to be free from endless searching for things that you can't find, repurchasing the same thing over and over again. And once you start decluttering and going through everything, you're probably going to find the five of the same item that you bought over and over again. You just couldn't find them. So guys, one more time, if you did not finish task number one, please go back this week and finish that up. And Grab a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, relax, go online, look at pictures, see what resonates within you, and copy them or even print them out and make your own vision board. I think it's really important. Meantime, Ambrosio and I are going to be completing our project back here, um, which looks a hot mess right now, but it's going to be great. It really is. And not only is it something that we've been wanting to do for a really long time, but we're really excited because we're going to be able to show you guys how to do what we're doing for so little money. I mean, complete room makeovers for like $100 or $200. Complete with rugs, with paint, with... You'll see. All right? So... Thanks again for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You have no idea how much that helps me. Also, if you're new, please subscribe. I really would appreciate that as well. And good luck on your minimalistic journey. And I will see you next Monday. Take care, guys.